Welcome guys, welcome. I'm so excited guys, and guess what? We are in love with the three and four bedroom, three bedroom, one eighty six meters square, and four bedroom is two twenty three meters square, going for 19 million and 24 million respectively, and negotiable. Guys, the swimming pool on that side, we've got a gym here, two units per floor, five blocks in the compound, 100 units, going up to nine floors high, very secure, two guests before we get to a particular house, two parking spa flow, a borehole over here guys, a load guys I can talk about for over an hour guys. Follow me, let me show you what you have guys. Follow me here, so beautiful, follow me. I'm so happy to have Paddy with me today. So here is the lounge and the lounge, before I start the lounge, the house has got four bedrooms, all en suite, and uh, the floor is laminate floor, it's not, not too cold. And then again, the open plan, that means the kitchen and the lounge are built, they're connected and seamless, you can just have that light in the rear to the lounge. So let's move the lounge. This lounge is very spacious with the highly raised ceiling, light flows in naturally, Look at the lighting. We are on the first floor and just imagine the light in the house is enough. It's too much and you don't need to have the lights on. So this side is where you mount your TV. I also love the gypsum on top. It comes with the gypsum. Then again, also the lightings on this side. So here are the two lightings. You can decide either to put your seats on that side or this side. It depends how you want to arrange your lounge. So look at that window. Very massive window from the floor. To the ceiling let me just open and as the opening you're flowing direct into the massive uh massive balcony there is the balcony very long get very spacious look at that you can sit on that side your wife sits on this side kids can play here you can read here you can just relax and have your wine here you know smoke your cigar it's a nice place just to have the feel of outside but you're still in the in the house so let's go back to the lounge back to the lounge as you're moving straight on the other side to the kitchen and the dining. So you're going straight to the kitchen and before we go to the kitchen, this is your entry to the house. Very massive wooden door. And here is your dining, very close to the kitchen. I like this kind of space and the connection of the, of the lounge, the dining and the kitchen is an open layout. I can even scream from here and somebody in the lounge can get to hear me so we can easily converse. I like the space around the dining, very spacious, can easily move around comfortably. And this one is my kitchen. And guess what? If you want to close, if you want to close it for you to be a closed kitchen, you can close this and you can have this private space as your kitchen. So double sinks here, stainless. You can just put your utensils here and they dry comfortably. You can just do the tap this way and that way as you wash your dishes comfortably. And this side is where you put your stove and this side you put your extractor or the hood and here is another space just for you to store your stuff and the shelves on that side here you place some wines so maybe guys would like to use some wines you can just take them from here and give them so it's a nice location i like i also like uh the color of the of the shelves you know so this one is a black kenya black granite it, the, the reason as to why we have this one is because it's easy even if it's that you cannot see the dirt, so you can easily wipe and I like the working top is enough. Then again, I like this, the, the, the tile, you know, this tile is easy to wash. Even if you stay, you can easily wipe and you can, you can continue cooking your stuff. On this side, look at this side. This side, you've got mini pantry. You can store your stuff on this side, more space. You put your microwave, your oven on the, here and a microwave here, more space, you know. And the sockets also for that connection. More space on top. Then again, here is your pantry. Look at this. This is a pantry. So the house has a pantry. You know, Kenyans like pantry. So pantry, you have it here. Some apartments don't have the pantry, but here we have the pantry. Then again, I don't know if Paddy showed you. Look at the chandelier there. I love the beautiful chandelier. Look at the chandelier. Very beautiful, you know, to drop the light to the dining. It's a good thing. 
I love it. I love the gypsum also, the decoration of the gypsum on top. But show them, look at that gypsum. Very beautiful. It just drops a cozy light to the kitchen. Oh my God, I love it. And then this side, big windows bring light. Look at that window, bring light to the kitchen. A lot of light in the kitchen, plus the dining. The house is so alive. And then again, also the light on the walls, the white walls makes the house look so energized. And also it captivates me. I feel like, you know, I should buy this one. Then again, behind the kitchen, I won't show you. It's a very big dining area. But then again, you don't ever close to the air them on top. So without wasting much time, we'll go this way. And so this way is you have got the four bedrooms with the SQ. But before we go to the four bedrooms, this side is the clock room or the powder room. So let's go. Before you just go into the powder room, there's a sink here, very massive. I like it. I don't know. And then again, you see that opening and you close, nice mirror. And then again, I like the tiles used on the walls. It breaks the white color into a gray, cozy gray, just cool to make this place so beautiful. And that gray also flows to the floor. You go this way, it's a single vanity. Again, down here, more spaces. You can put your stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice thing. Let me just open it. There you go. You can store your stuff. So let's go inside. So before you move even inside, I like the doors, wooden doors with the stainless knobs or my door knobs. Ventilation here, very big ventilation. Let me just open it for you guys to see. Look at that. Very big ventilation. You know, I like it. I, I like the, the color comp the color that the washroom, the clock room has been combined with the gray and the white. So beautiful. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it so much. So let me take you to the first bedroom. The first bedroom. And guess what? The four bedrooms, all the bedrooms are en suite. But guess what? The bedroom is just behind me here. And here where I am, it's very, you can even walk the three of you into the bedroom. You don't find these in many apartments. You only find these with Boris and in Lavington in this particular apartment. Let's go inside, see the first bedroom. This one is the first bedroom. And I like this bedroom because the view you get, you get exterior views, the beautiful views of Lavington very zen views very green views and refreshing you put your stuff on this side this one is the closet you know uh, more space here you know you can just put your dresses your suits comfortably it could be the boys or let's say the visitors bedroom you fold your jeans put them on that side very big window bringing light to the washroom inside here is your clock room very spacious very spacious it fits one person it could be the visitor's bedroom, could be the boys, could be the girls. It depends with how you want to organize your house with a single vanity over there. So let's go to the second bedroom. So now, uh, before we go to the second bedroom, uh, the first bedroom, had, they have got similarities with the three bedrooms. Uh, the third bedroom is a bit small, but I'll show you the second bedroom. Before I show you the second bedroom, Look at the ceiling, the gyps, the beautiful gypsum floors in all the rooms. I love this particular spec. You'll find this in most apartments. This also beautify the highway to the bedrooms. So this way is the second bedroom, kind of similar with the other one. The only difference is the space that is a bit spacious than this one. Then the view you get on this side, you get to see the exterior of what you bought on the inside. So now this one here is the clock room. I don't know if somebody, if you've noticed something, all the rooms have got enough natural lighting. Exactly. Even the washroom, the lighting is superb. I can even switch off this artificial light, but you see the lighting is, it's, is enough. Look at the lighting. All the rooms have got natural light. You don't find that in many apartments. I won't talk much about the shower cubicle, the stainless, uh, the stainless fittings. I'll talk about the fittings of the washroom in the master bedroom. But everything you see in this bedroom, it's similar to all other three bedrooms, right? But the four bedroom has got a bit of a difference. So let's go. This one with the baby's bedroom. Maybe you're on that side and you want to have a bedroom for your small kid who needs a lot of attention. Or somebody sickly can sleep here because now it's very close to the master bedroom. Somebody in the master bedroom can easily dash and see that person, attend that person. Maybe he's sick or maybe he's a small baby who cries a lot or who needs a lot of attention can sleep here comfortably and that is the thing that I like about this bedroom so here is a, is a is, it's a closet this is a closet and uh, this particular bedroom is very unique as compared to other bedrooms I don't know if you've noticed it's a running closet from that side to this side 
So you mount a TV here for the baby. Somebody there, baby or the sickly person, can just hold a TV from this point, from that point, enjoying themselves. Put more stuff on top, more drawers down to pull your stuff, maybe you see perfume, shoe polish, and everything. So here is the washroom. And the washroom, like I told you, uh, they are kind of similar. Nothing unique about the washrooms. Sure, cubicle, you know, I won't talk much about this, but I would like to talk about the master bedroom. But before I talk about the master bedroom, I like this window. But I show them the window. I like this window. It's very, very thoughtful. The window, floor to ceiling, brings light to the bedroom. Imagine yourself on the ninth floor or the eighth floor. You get very good views of, of Lavington, right? Very true. So let's go straight into the master bedroom without wasting much of your time. I don't know you've been watching, and thank you so much for watching. Let's go in, see the master bedroom. Man, I, I just love, I just love the master bedroom, man. This is so beautiful. I, I, I'm so happy to show you this master bedroom. But before I show you the master bedroom, look at this. You, you can just mount, there's a roach that should be here. We haven't put it yet, it should be here. So you can hang clothes. And this one is the girls or the ladies or the women's side. Look at this one. All this way up to this side is the ladies' side. Look at this one. <laughs> you just put your clothes from here up to the side. It's for the ladies. And the man's or the gentleman's or my side is this one. <laughs> very small. Very, very small space. I don't think this will be enough with me. This is too small. I, mean, I, I don't know. For me, I'll go for that side. My girl will go for this side. My wife will go for this side. But I, I'm not yet married. Sorry. <laughs> so now, all this side is for the ladies. You know, uh, put your clothes. And then again, you can just mount a TV here. You know, or we can decide to put a dressing mirror. It depends on what you want to do. But there's a lot of space. Storage space or the clothes space or the clothes space is a lot. It's more than enough. Paddy, what do you think, Paddy? Like, uh, my <laughs> for me, I have a load of. Oh my, this one fit. This one, this one suit me, man. I have a load of clothes, man. I can't fit here. I think I'll go for this side, and for my girlfriend and wife to be go for this side. So behind party there is a very big L-shaped window. Let me show them. It's a very big L-shaped window all this way to this side. Bring light to the magic room, man. Look at that natural lighting oozing in naturally. I'm telling you, it's so beautiful. And then again, also on that side, you're seeing very, very beautiful exterior of what you bought on the inside. This is a very good space. You can sit here and you know, you can just have a chat with your wife. You know, it's a nice additional space in the bedroom. You don't find these again, many master bedrooms, you only find these in Lavington in this particular apartment and with one and only Realty Boris. Let's go this side. Before I go inside, look at that side. You put the LED lights or the backsplash lights here just to beautify this place. You can just put backsplash light over there. Just, I see one is working, one is not working, but you can fix that just to beautify that space. And uh, you know, then again, they like the gypsum going that way on the ceiling. More space beside drawers fits comfortably. That's beautiful. That's spectacular. So this side, this one is the master washroom with a single vanity. Look at that. Very beautiful. You do your stuff there. A small jacuzzi over here. And the standing show cubicle on the side. So here we go. You can decide to use this. This is a uh, flexible one. You want to wash yourself, you know, you want to wash every part of your body. You use this. One. And if you want to have just a nice warm shower, it flows from a rain shower. There's a shower in the rain shower head. So you can just flow on your head as you're taking a shower slowly and comfortably as you're enjoying your achievements. Look at that. Very nice mirror over there. The gypsum again in the washroom. You don't find that. You only find it here with a small jacuzzi over there. So let's go. Uh, now, guys, I think it's enough. I'm just, oh my God. I've showed you everything. I've showed you everything in this particular four bedroom, all in the suite, guys, with an SQ going for 24 million in Lavington. And just on that side of the three bedroom with an SQ 186 meter square going for 19 million. Guys, I know you're so tired, man, but with bodies, you can be tired. I don't like to say of this. 
I'm so very, very grateful. And thank you so much for going with me around. Get to see this beautiful four bedroom. Then again, I'll say, until next time. <laughs> with the guy with the Boris. Bye-bye.